Let the experiment begin. Hi, do you drink tap water? No. Would you serve it here? <sighs> no. Basically, what I need and what I crave is water. We're supposed to drink at least two litres of the stuff every day. But according to the latest scary headlines, we're also supposed to steer well clear of tap water. So what do we drink? Bottled, mineral, filtered, oxygenated? Or do we just throw caution to the wind and drink plain old tap? So should I worry about water? Now, before all of that, I've come up with a good idea. I want to find out just why it is that we need water. So, I've done some simple scientific tests whilst really hydrated, really full of water. And now it seems to me the only way to find out the effect of a lack of water on our bodies is for me to do the same tests dehydrated. I've just got to give up drinking water. Easy. Right, it's Saturday morning. I'm taking you on a tour of all the people who've had water other than me. Basically, it's everybody. Dogs. Have you had water today? She's not only had water, she's had breakfast and she's wearing it. Have you had water? Yes, thank you. You have no thank you. No. Now, you see, that's just taking the mickey. The cat's having a drink from the fish bowl. I've just filled the radiator on my decrepit old Land Rover. That's where it went. With water. I was jealous of the water that went in there. Is it making me more ill-tempered and horrible than usual? Yes. It's Sunday morning, about six o'clock, and as you can probably see, I feel pretty lousy. I'm losing weight, but not in a good way. My head hurts. I'm tired. I'm cross. It's 11.30-ish, I think, on Sunday night, and I'm genuinely thirsty now. It's just as simple as that. Basically, what I need and what I crave is water. Right, go to bed. Good night. So, not quite as easy as I thought. When I was drinking my usual pint of water a day, I did some physical and mental tests. Now, after being deprived of the stuff, I'm about to repeat them to see how my performance compares. Hydrated versus dehydrated. First, Reactions. I have to hit as many lights as I can in 30 seconds. Last time, I got 24. 22, so two worse. Yeah, I guess that is a slight something. I can't even think of words. I feel horrible. Right, this is my concentration test. It's quite simple, or it sounds it. Basically, I've got to say the colour it is, not the colour that the word says. Not, not the letters, in other words, but the actual colour. Right, here, here we, we go. go. Uh, mm. I'm off. Uh, uh, red, red, blue, blue yellow, yellow, green, green black, black, pink, pink, orange, orange yellow, white, yellow, blue, pink, white, orange, purple, grey, pink, red, orange, green, grey, yellow, black, red, blue, green, yellow, green, black, pink, blue, white, green, pink, pink, white. 14 seconds. 14.3, let's be accurate. 17.5. Oh dear, that's not as good. Next, it's the bit I'm really dreading. The physical stamina test. I have to cycle for 20 minutes and see how far I can go. Hydrated, I got 8.57 kilometers. That's it. That look. Right, I gotta wait for it to come round. Kilometers 8.31. I'm telling you now, that hurt. Basically, we need water, we know that, and I can't believe how quickly it has an effect within what two days is. Don't forget, this isn't complete dehydration. This is just not drinking any pure water. I was ill-tempered, my head hurts. I think I've got a cold, my throat's dry. I keep sneezing, I've got no strength. My legs are getting cramped up. I couldn't concentrate as well. I wasn't as fit over a distance or as quick over a sprint. I wouldn't advise it. Can I have that now, please? Please, please. I really want, this, I, give me that now. 
honestly, I haven't had a... I now know, then, I definitely need water. But I haven't got a clue how much I should be drinking. That's probably a good thing to find out next. How much do you reckon we should drink a day? At least a couple of litres. Two litres. Two litres. Two litres. Two litres. Yeah. A couple of litres? Yeah, two or three litres. Well, who told you? Magazines. <laughs> How'd you arrive at that? Well, I was just repeating what he said. <laughs> Magazines, I guess. Really? Uh, magazines. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. OK, these are the magazines everybody goes on about. Now, obviously, I don't read these at all, but my wife does. And they all go on all the time about water and the fabulous effects it can have on our general sense of well-being and our health and everything else. Well, I actually spoke to some of the beauty editors of these mags. And to be honest, some of them knew less about it than me. So I've decided I want to find out more by doing something that's never been done before. So I've enlisted the help of Denise and Leslie. Actually, no, that's wrong. It's Denise and Leslie. Now, obviously, they're identical twins. I actually saw them on the Richard and Judy show. I don't know. I was at home. I was bored. But they're not just identical twins. They also have the same job. They have the same number of children. They have the same skincare routines and the same hair. So they're perfect for what I've got in mind. In here, I should find a doctor and my twins. It isn't. What's a bad stuff? Oh, it's, it's open. We left it open. Hello. You Dr. Rushton? Yes. I'm Richard. Hi, Richard. Hi, uh, thanks for helping us with this. Have we got our twins in here somewhere? The beauty editors couldn't help me, so I'll have to find out information for myself. I'm determined to put their magazine claims to the test. Does drinking two litres of water a day really improve your skin, hair and aid weight loss? Hello. Are you Denise and Leslie? I'm, I'm, I've no idea. <laughs> yeah, I can call you both. Chance. You're... Denise. Denise, Denise. Denise. you're you Leslie. Remember. Leslie and Denise each drink only half a pint of water a day. Perfect for my experiment. OK, well, what we're going to do is this. Dr Rushton here, who's with us in the room, in whose room we're in, um, is going to take various measurements from you now. And then over the course of a month, one of you is going to drink the recommended amount of water, two litres a day. One of you is going to carry on drinking the amount you drink now, which is, well, below the recommended amount. Then after a month, we'll take the same measurements and see if there's a difference. 37. First, the before tests. Dr. Rushton and assistant measure moisture levels in the skin. Next, we need one square centimetre of hair from the root to look at water content. Is all right? I'm OK. It just sounds a lot of snipping for... <laughs> this doesn't go down too well with hairdressers. Finally, much to the twins' horror, we need to take their weight. Seven stone two. Wonderful. <laughs> So, obviously, the important thing here, you've got to decide which one of you is going to drink the water and which one of you is going to carry on not. But don't tell me. Out. Right, so we're going to keep that secret. And the final thing to give you is, that's your video camera there. Thank you. Your video diary, so we can see what happens. Good luck with Remember it. Remember to follow the rules. Go to it. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dutch. OK. Bye-bye. Let the experiment begin. Well, no, we'll do it. We'll Thank toss the coin out of three or just first go. First go. I'll have towels. Not looking, not looking. Towels it is. You drink the water. Whilst the twins are being experimented on, I'm looking into the origins of this whole two litres thing. I'm discovering that all this started with a misinterpretation of a 1945 American study, which implies that the average person needs two litres of fluid a day. It goes on to say that some of this amount could come from food. For example, a baked potato is 70% water, and this bit is the part that the magazines don't tell us. I can't find any science to support our bodies needing two litres to keep us healthy. But is there any truth in the beauty claims made by these women's magazines? You and I still don't know which one of you two has been drinking the water for a month. No. Do you want to hazard a guess? If I had to plump for one of them, I think it would be Denise. Um... I think it was you. I really don't. No, I don't. I'm going to say it was you, then we balanced. That's fair. 39? 39. So, I can't see any difference with the twins. But surely if one has been drinking two litres of water every day and the other has carried on drinking about a quarter of a litre, the proof will be in the test results. Right, so we've got everything in, all of the details we need, all of the tests have been done, this is it. Let's do wait first. Okay. Uh, basically, there's been no, no change whatsoever. Right. 
So the difference between them now is, is the same, same as it was, was then. Right, yes. so no big changes there. Okay. okay. The next uh, thing.